I'm Bernardo David. I work at the Tokyo Institute of Technology in the cryptocurrency lab established in cooperation with IOHK and I work on multi-party computation protocols. A multi-party computation protocol, or MPC as we usually call it, is a cryptographic protocol that allows a number of distrustful parties who do not trust anybody but themselves to compute a computer program on private inputs that only they hold without ever revealing any information about these private inputs to any of the other people involved in the computation or any third party in the public. These protocols basically work as a black box where you can input some data that's going to go through a computer program and you can receive the output data. You have no idea what computation was done inside the black box, you have no idea what the other people's data was, but you get the output and you can compute meaningful applications using this kind of protocols. In developing the Cardano project, we go through several phases. The first one is conducting the scientific research, the cryptographic research, into developing the cryptographic protocols that we are using within the Cardano project. In doing that, we write scientific papers and submit them to peer-reviewed conferences to make sure that our science is solid. And after we are completely sure or have a high assurance that the science is solid, we need to move into developing the actual product, into implementing the scientific papers that we have written. In order to do this correctly with a high assurance implementation that will make sure that the implemented product actually corresponds to the scientific research we have done, we have to go through a long process of first writing a formal specification of what these protocols should do, which is then sent to the engineering department that will implement this formal specification. In doing so, us at the research side are at constant contact with both the people writing the formal specifications, the engineers developing the software and the engineers testing the developed software in order to make sure that our research is faithfully implemented by the final product. In the case of the Uroboros protocol, for example, we already have three papers peer-reviewed and published at major conferences showing that we can build the Ouroboros protocol, we can build the Ouroboros Prowse protocol, and that we can build this great protocol that's generating randomness for the first version of Ouroboros. But still, we're only running the Ouroboros protocol plus the Scray protocol for randomness. Why is that? It's because we're taking care that in implementing the Ouroboros Prowse protocol, we get all the details perfectly right so that the final product is really what we proved secure in the scientific paper. In the realm of MPC, we also have a number of protocols for running card games without trusted third parties. We're developing a protocol that will be released soon for do, running general computer programs inside an MPC protocol, and those will be publicly available soon. But still, we have to remember that the life cycle of a product like that, of a cryptographic protocol, doesn't end after we publish the research, but it just begins, because after that we will move into the actual implementation and formal specification that will ensure the final product is indeed what we have analyzed in the scientific papers.